Hello ladies and gents, hope you're having a beautiful weekend, it's very very sunny outside my window, <laughs> god blimey Charlie. So I've been asked, um, how am I going on with my railways online, with my, my, my new build, so I, I have got something just to the one side of me, hang on, there we go, let's flick out of this, see if I can pull this over. I think I'm on screen capture. Just let me check. I'm not. There we go. That should uh, that should be a little bit better. You'll see what I'm looking at then. So this is the map of what I've got so far. <laughs> And I don't like this area at all. It's all going to go. So I've put this loop in. And I'll be coming off this loop. All this centre bit here. This is all going to go. Don't like it at all. Um, I don't I don't even know what I was thinking. I'll be quite honest. I don't know what was going through my mind when I did that. <laughs> right. So we'll move that away. <coughs> This is the area I'm on about. Uh, so, I do have to um, move these rails, move these logs out of the way, and stuff like that. And this is just a mess. So I've got this line coming all the way around the outside, and I'll come off from that into here. And hopefully, that will sort out any, um, any problems. Now I've got a problem with buffering at the moment and I don't know, it's just, there's no amount to stop. It's saying YouTube's not getting enough signal. So let me just have a look, see if I can. It's not maintaining a smooth stream, it says. Let me just try and have a So that it's not letting me, it's not letting me. Down and blast it. Down and blast it. Right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try and check a train um, up to the. See, look at that. I don't like that. That's got a right kink in that track there. Look, look at that. That's not good, is it? All needs redoing this bit. All needs redoing. Yeah, the tree's falling. This is because it's a logging camp, which is quite cool. Um, so this bit is running down the side of the map here. I got a blob on the side of me. Oh, there we go. That's gone on the screen. Um, so this is coming up into the logging camp, and we'll. Uh, I'm going to have to sort all this out. But all this is going to have to get deleted. Don't take too much delete. You can... Um, groundwork. So this is groundwork. So we, can, so we can just go along and delete stuff like that. Um, can do it all, but I don't want to do it all at once. There you go. Rails. So we can delete stuff. So I'm going to go around and delete all this lot. It's... Um, it's pretty, it's pretty untidy, pretty messy. It doesn't serve a purpose. So that's going to get done. And this track 
runs up here, it does actually work this track, it's quite smooth, as long as I don't fall through the, um, the track will be alright, which does happen when you're travelling at speed. Um, so this goes down to the sawmill. This one down here. This one is going to go... Right, I'll just put this one in. Uh, just this morning. That's going to go back towards um, the start point and towards in between that valley over there this comes back down to the sawmill whoops nearly fell off though nearly fell off don't like that little kink there but it, it's not too bad um, and this one hither that one also goes to the sawmill I was trying to get different ways to get through that bridge, you see. <laughs> That's what I was trying there. Um, but we're going to go up this track and go to the... Uh, I'm going to go to the ore mine. I'm hoping my train whoops, gets through it. So the track what was coming round the side of the uh, map just before. That's this one. That goes up there to the logging camp. I've got some branches ready to, to go off here. I might make some sort of uh, rail yard down this area. Techno PC Gaming, you love this game, you've got it. How you doing? Have you, do you, so you like it? I'm waiting for the new uh, update coming out. But um, so this I, I started again. I've tried with the beta version, but anyway. So I'm down. Hither. I've got some lumber to take to the iron mine. Uh, did you see the map before? I'll try and pull the map up. Hang on a second. I'll try and pull the map up. So there is my map, what I've done so far on this one. So here's the start point and the cell station. Then we go around here. I want to bring this in and it will come straight through here towards the oil fields. And it will branch off around there back to uh, this pickup here. So I can come from the start area and just come round. This is going to go down the valley. Right across the valley. And uh, one will branch off down to the smelter. Well, I don't know. They keep saying it's coming soon. But I don't know when soon is. Um... This this up here is where I took the um, I don't know if I took the the thumbnail from here. I teleport to there. And I just so there's a smelter down there, centre of the screen, and there's the ore mine. The track comes along heather. And down to that um, sawmill that you just saw. It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a bit steep. Woo! There we go. <clears throat> so I've got iron, iron, uh, oh, timber under there. Yeah.
I'm all right at the moment, uh, Tech. But thank you for offering. I'll tell you what. Um, have you got the minis work? Do you use minis work? I'm only having a little fettle. I'm only going to... It was Sprue wanted to know how I was going on with it. So I've just come on. And um, I'm going to go on farm sim in a moment. Um, this I'm going to branch off. Maybe. Maybe. Branch it off and go that way. Um, this is a bridge I'm building. So that's why the groundwork is... Um, this is why the groundwork's here. I'm putting a bottom on the bridge. And then I'll put stone um, stone pillars down. What's that? What is, you've not had the minis work. Right, okay. Uh, I'm on screen capture, so I could probably show you, actually. Uh... Let me try it. Okay, so we go to that. Uh, okay. Let me pull, see if I can pull this over. Okay. So if you, is it, is it that? No, you don't. No, it's not that. But you can, you can. You can name your truck, your, your trains and all that with this. Minis work online. So, let me just get rid of that a second. Click back on the game. If I go to... What is it? It's called Railways Online Extended. Have a look for it. Have a look for it. Because in-game, it's still that crappy map. But with this, right, uh, so I can teleport, right-click, teleport there, boom. All right, let me just click off. So I can come down here. Um, if you look, I've changed Betsy to mouse. You can do that with the minis work. I think that's the minis work one. So, uh, <coughs> OTD. <laughs> so, with this, <laughs> with this um, little little tool, right? Um, I want to go to this uh, iron ore place down here. So I'll just check, right? But you can. As you said, so it's a flip switch. You can flip the switches with this. Let me. There you go. So I'm going to come into here, here, here. How you doing, OTD? It's a railway game. It's a railway game, OTD. Thought you'd like it. Your error as well. Just let me check. Hey, that shows a line, but that's because I'm putting the base on the. Um, on the uh, railway so we come down hell so I'm just checking these points are all open for me I should be good to go I should be good to go I'm not saying I am but it should be Uh, no swearing on here, Techno. Sorry. So that that is. Have a look for. Um, let me try and find the link. Uh, for you. I think, I think. Right, uh, there we go. Copy. We'll go here. 
Technos. Um, here's a link for you. Try that. Um, <coughs> that should give you a link to the to this um, to this here, which will let you do these things. What you do is you turn. You could turn this on. Right. Let me let me show you. Um, so if I just go to it, it'll just be a blank map, right? But now, when you get it, just put turn your game on. Once your game's on, you can then attach the map. Go to this global thing, and there you go. Your tracks are all in there, and all these different things. So you can at least see which way you're facing when you're on the map. And you can see, I'm heading for a hill here, so I know to turn that bridge a little as I'm bringing it down. So I want to bring that round, bring that round and meet them up. Well, actually, I want to bring that one into that one and then that one down here. So um, that's what I... So that's the uh, Railways Online Extended. Right, which helps you do that. The Minisworg one... Well, it helps you lay track if you want to do that sort of thing. David, hello. How are you doing? If you're interested in that one, I can try and find you the link for that. So what, what I'm going to do here, oh, I've got pressure up. Let me try and... Should have water. Let me just check. Yeah, I've got water. I'm gonna have enough water. Let me just check these brakes are off. Pins are in. Brakes off. Yeah, everything's looking tickety boo. How you doing, David? You all right? Let's six. Right. I'm, I'm going to give this a whirl. I'm going to give this a whirl right now. Pressure's built up. There we go. Whack it into first. Whack the brake off. Let's give it a... So this is the longest um, journey I've got at the moment. So it's, it's, it's buffering. Pressure's dropped. Oh, come on. I have to let the pressure build up, folks. I need, I need, I need the break here, really. This is because, this is because the train's been stored for ages because I've been laying track, and it's not quite um, got its stink up. That's why, <laughs> that's why there was no wood in there. Shall we give it another whirl? Shall we give it another go? It is it is a bit of a steep thing for this little track, to be quite honest. But it's pulling quite a bit. 
Yeah, I know OTD. It says I've got a buffering issue. I'm not going to be on very long. But I might, I might not be on very long at all if this thing can't get up the hill. Come on, girl. I might have to take a carriage off. <laughs> I'll have to leave a carriage back. It's not happening, is it? See, before I took up these plat, these must be lighter than these because these <laughs> definitely taken off in it. Yeah. Come on, I can run faster than this bloody train. I've got some game, Captain. That might be better. Might be better on game capture than um, screen capture. Obviously. Is that any better? Grab a light. It's not great, is it? It's not great at all. I need more horses. You know, I don't know if it's Sunday and I've just got a crappy internet. Today, for some reason. I 
I'm gonna even when I refresh the uh Yeah, that's just too laggy in it. I'll get up to the old mine and So I've actually gone over the top of the hills this time. <clears throat> oh you loaded up your PC. So I put a I put a stone floor in the bottom of this bridge. A complete just stoned it off. You can probably just about make out of the bottom. I've not got much money. I've only got 856 bucks left. Uh, down there I've cleared the forest out as you can see and laid a load of track. So before I went through a valley over there and uh, this time I've decided to... That's what the big loop's for. I can't make too much of an incline. Oh, hello Charles, how you doing? I hope you're well sir. Nice to see you. I've got to finish that bridge off just on that side there. Just underneath. Put a support under. I want to finish the bottom of this bridge and get rid of that dirt. What's That dirt is only there just so I can get the bridge across and I can build. I have to build the bridges from the top down. But they won't ping on the floor until I put some something across. So that, that, that base there is so I could get this bridge across. And then what I'll do is I'll put a bottom on that bridge and I'll put some supports in. And you'll see a difference next time. There's the station over there. That goes down towards the oil mills and refineries down that end. All aboard the Skylark! <clears throat> well, she's coming down the... Uh... Oops. I need to finish that bridge off just under there, underneath it there. I've got to get down to that, there's a smelter right down there in the distance. And I've got to get into the next valley on the other side of these this other mountain. I'm glad you're doing well Charles, I've not seen many videos coming from you. Ah, you're downloading that mod map, right. Yeah, it does help, it does help. Um, that's branching off... That might be going to the smelter. It might be going to the other side of the valley. It might do both. I don't know. I'll just put a branch in there. I'll show you the Minis Work one in a, mon in a minute, Technos, before I go. Because this is a bit too... bit bit laggy for me. I don't know if it's the game, the internet, or, or just YouTube. I'm in a dicky fit at the moment. So I'm coming down, it's a little bit wiggly. So this is downhill, so what I can do is just pop that off right there. Yeah, it's, it, the, the game's a little bit laggy actually as well. A PC might be doing a little bit too much. So uh, I've laid all this uh, this groundwork down here at this this place.
we'll just pop this into Heather. Stop, train. Stop. Stop. Come on. Stop. Yeah, we unload that. I think I can unload this one here. Yep. If I pull forward a little. There you go, that's that done. <clears throat> there you go, we've unloaded the, the flipping train. Cool, blimey, I couldn't get up here. So uh, that's now producing coal. I'm going to come up here with coal trucks and take that down to the smelter, which you pull these down, fill your train up, blah de blah de blah So lots of places to go, lots of things to do on this map. Now the other one, Technos Gaming, is, let me go to, let me pull this up, I'll need to go to screen capture, and what we'll do is pull this over here, so you want Nini is work online. All right. M I N I Z W E R G dot online. And uh, let me show you what you have to do. So what I can do here, I think I've got. I think I've got a save game. I can show you what I'm doing here. Once it's downloaded, do I need to load it up before the game, or is it just... <coughs> you need to turn your game on first. Right? Here we go. Let me, sh let me show you. Let me move that to one side. So I'm going to uh, save this game. I'm going to save it into slot 4. Right? Now, slot 5, I've got something on there, I'll show you. So we go back. Leave the session. So, even though I'm in the game, right, if I bring up this, hang on, if I turn the game off now, that'll all go off, because it, it doesn't, it won't recognise the game. So you need to come in, let's detach that, all you'll get is that map, like that. You need to turn your game on, go to your save game, turn your game on, and then that'll be the what. Well, that's the page that you'll see. Just attach it. See, it, it's not. I've not gone into a game yet, so it, it doesn't know which map I'm, which save game I'm choosing. If you if do you get my drift? So you need to start your game first. All right, let me go back. Let me quit this game. <clears throat> right, so that's that. Right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you something here. This here, this mini's work online. Um, you can change the names of your, your um, trains and things like that. You can also edit your map. Right? Um, some people say it's cheating. Some people don't. So this is a, a different app. This is a different one again. Right? So 
Railways Online Extended is one where you can um, change your points and uh, fast travel around the map. This is a kind of a, a map editor. So, um, what you need to do is go into this bit here. Okay, and um, you need to type in percent app app data percent and go to not not the web go to the file folder okay now this goes to roaming i need to go back one to the app data okay go to your local file arr is the railroads online click in there click into your save games right <coughs> Right. Just for just so I know where it is, I'm going to move. I've, I've saved that last one on slot four, so I'm going to move slot five because I know what's what where it is. Right, slot five. I'm just going to move to my desktop, out the way. Right. Now with this, you need. It, it's going to ask you to sign in to your Steam account. All right. Even though you might be si signed in, so. You need to log in. It, you can be logged in for quite a while, actually. I'm not sure you my password. That's not happening. So we sign in. Right now, I can upload a saved game. So I choose the file. This one here. See, I just kept it handy on the um, the old desktop. Choose the file. Bang it into that slot. Upload it. Now, I've not used this too much, to be quite honest. I don't know how a lot of it works. Alright. So. <clears throat> say you've got a dodgy bend there, with, like I had. Right. I've took this out to show you. Alright. And you, you want to finish that bend off nicely or whatever. Alright. Once you've put your um, points in, make sure there's a little the little piece comes off. Just put a little piece in. It won't connect to the points, so just put a a piece in, if you get what I mean, before you come into this. So we're going to go to edit. All right. Cut. There's your rolling stock there. So you can change the name of your rolling stock. You can put a number on it and all this. Same here. You can change the names of your um, your rolling stock if you wish. All right. Uh, I don't know about trees. I don't know about players or the industries. I've not got a clue. I've not used them. This here, you can. That's for picking your track there from two. The rail type you want whether it's a plane or on wooden deck and here you can have gravel stone wall wooden bridge you can't have this steel bridge right so i'm just going to go gravel i wouldn't advise you sink the uh tracks in the bed it's a pain in the ass to keep lined up um, this here minimum height over ground change that to one every time change that to one because that'll stay at least um, a meter or whatever it is above the ground otherwise if you ch leave that on nothing it'll just cut through mountains so uh, you don't you don't want that if you're doing a straight piece ignore the whole curve thing just draw me a straight line tick that but straight pieces are quite even so I've not filled that in or that in but if you watch so I'm gonna go say from there to there and it's going to put me a gravel bed in right generate curve and between them two points it will tell you if the curve is too tight by the way it won't do it for you 
there you go it's put me a bed a bed in and um, a track now if I edit again go to curves change that to one that's the first thing you do and I go from say uh, here to here generate curve between them two points come out a little bit there you go it's put that curve in for me if I edit again curves and straights change that straight away and I go from here to this point see I've just put a small piece in you see just to come off the points and I do a curve there you go it's put me a nice neat curve in rather than a, a, a jagged one so what <laughs> I put in around here um, there's one over here so I could put this loop in see so if I go to edit curves one so it stays above the ground and I go from oops this piece here to this piece here There you go it's put me a nice curve in so that's using the uh, minis work um, thing then what you need to do press edit again right you download your saved map okay you can shut that out basically uh, then what we'll do is go to downloads that is there we'll copy the oops copy that go back to your save games here paste it in just rename it slot 5 remember what slot you was rename there you go now if I go back to the game let's fire the game up random number and I go to slot 5 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 start the server so this is kind of a, a bit of a track editing tool if you're having trouble lining lining stuff up it, it does help And that other one does make it easier to get around the map. It really does. How's your bridge building? Is that alright? Techno? Is your bridge building going alright? Come on. So it's a good game. It's a good game. But I found it really hard. It, it is a lot a lot easier with these um so the first one I put in was this loop here whoops see bit of lag you'll notice there's trees in the uh, pile and all that kind of stuff 
in the middle of the track see because it's just it's just banged the track down there you go it's lined up to that point system there and if so then you need to run back let's see if we get any shooters here no nope. this one might pop a little bit Cut your trees out. You've got a, you've got your um, you've got your nice straight curve. Well, the straight curve. You know what I mean. The lines are straight. Oh, that was a good one. Woo! As you can see now, that is a lot smoother. The second one I put in was this one here. So that, that comes down to there. The other one I put in, was it this one, this one? that and you can see my original groundwork which is there you go that was the one I put in so it has put the groundwork down for you as well <laughs> yeah, when you shoot up. Yeah, so. And then if I. So, if I get this map up now and attach. There you go. You'll see that then tracks are all in. And if I come over here, where I put this loop in. You just need to check it sometimes. See? The, the, the groundwork's missing, even though I said the groundwork. So, you might want to put some, um, some groundwork in there. Uh, fill it back in. But there you go. So, you'll, you will need to chop the trees down as well. I'm stuck in a track here. So you need to go around and check it um, after you've done it, just to make sure, because it might it might miss like that. I did it before; everything was all right with it. Um, done it this time, and the groundwork's missing. So just just check it once it's all done. Don't know where this came in. Somewhere around here. Oh, up the top here it was. There you go. So it's missing groundwork. You can always um, you know what I mean. Do it yourself that way, kind of thing. You know, you get the, you get the idea. You know the crack, um, and then just match them back up.
There you go, job's a gun. I'm stuck in it again. Well, that's it, folks. That come on, show you how far I've got. But um, them two tools should help you techno PC gaming. So that's um, Railways Online Extended and the Minis Word um, map or um, Minis Word Eddington Eddington tool, isn't it? Really. Right. I'll catch you later. Have a beautiful Sunday. I might be back with some farm sim. I don't know yet. Or a bit of water under even. But uh, stay safe. Have a beautiful weekend. And uh, thank you very much for taking the time to call in on a Sunday. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you. Drinks a fair bit, but you realize that it just helps get his noggin jogging along with his glass by his side and his kids asleep tight. We'll hear some lost planning tonight. With his microphone muted, we'll laugh at this boomer until he explains it's all part of the plan. Watch his face become red as he becomes meta, raging at idiots from Twitter and Erland. From the white shores of Man to the hills of there's no one who explains the law better than me So pour out a glass for the ones who have passed Just make the law what we have now Oh, his lady is fair and she handles herself With the grace of one who has borne many children As the wife of a lawman she makes sure that he has The time and the place to provide for them there So pour out an art bag about more love Freud The spirits flow as the one Get on a new boat So pour out a glass for the tea Post on Twitter As we hear lost planning tonight From the white shores of Nam To the hills of Glen Levitt There's no one who explains the dawn Better than Nick So pour out a glass for the ones who have passed To make the law what we have now Oh, the guests are all planet folks From Doug T to Drexel They bring their perspective and spice to the mix But the reason we Draws a man to the hills of Glen Limit. There's no one who explains the plot.